In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up easy digital signatures uh, for your SharePoint lists or libraries uh, as described in my blog post, which there will be a link to in the uh, description below for the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a list or library from our SharePoint site and we're going to enable users to be able to digitally sign that item for that list or library. Uh, this is going to be using some client-side development techniques and this works in Office 365 or in your on-premises SharePoint as well. Uh, we will be using Office 365 for this demo. So here I am in my Office 365 SharePoint site and I'm going to add a list to my site. I'm just going to start the whole thing from scratch. You can use this on existing lists if you want to. Uh, but for the purposes of this demo, let's create a tasks list. We'll call it tasks and let's set this up to use the signature from my blog post. So we're going to go into the settings for the tasks list and we're going to add a field. So we're going to create a column. We're going to call this column signature. It is going to be multiple lines of text and it is going to be plain text. This field is going to hold, hold the information needed to display and store the signature. So now our list is set up and we can go into our list, okay, which is tasks, and now we need to edit the forms for this list to enable the signature functionality. So let's click on the list tab up top here and let's first add it to the default new form. So click on default new form. It opens up our new item form for us. We can edit the page and we're going to add a web part to this page. It's going to be under media and content and it is going to be a script editor web part. So let's add that and then click on edit snippet. And from here, we want to add the following script references. We're adding a reference to jQuery. We're adding a reference to a uh, library called sketch.js. Then we're adding a reference to the library called Pate Signature. And this is uh, the script that is responsible for storing the signature and displaying the signature uh, in SharePoint. Then we have some CSS files we're going to reference as well, including the Office UI fabric files. So this is just a bunch of script and style references. We're going to copy these references, available in the blog post. We'll paste them, insert it, and stop editing. And that's all there is to it. We now have the signature functionality working on the new item form. So we just need to make it work on the display and edit forms as well. And to do that, we do the exact same process. We open up the list tab. We go to the edit form. Well, let's do the display form first. So now we're in the display form. Edit the page. Click add web part. Media and content. Script editor. Edit the snippet. Paste it. Stop editing. And then finally let's do it for the edit form. Edit the page, add a web part, media and content, script editor, edit the snippet, paste it, stop editing. So now this list is fully configured to use digital signatures in SharePoint. So whenever I create a new task, you see that we now have a signature block in that task. And if we want to have a user sign it when a task is created. Maybe you have to have only certain people can sign it and you need this digital signature. I don't know the use case for signatures and tasks, but let's pretend there is one. So all you have to do is click on the pencil here. It brings up a dialog box to sign and you can use your stylus, your mouse, you can use whatever you want and go ahead and sign your name. My name. Pretend that's legible. It is now stored so that we can now have a task with a signature. So it's now saved. If we go to the display form for this task, we can see that it is displayed in the display form. And if we edit the item, it is displayed there. And we can also change the signature if we wanted to by just clicking on the pencil again and doing another signature and save it. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, easy to implement, easy to use, easy to print out if you need to, uh, and store those digital signatures. 
If you have any other questions, just check out the blog, send us an email, and we'll be glad to help you out. Thanks a lot. Thank you.